We're here at Monroe McLean Gymnasium uh, for the girls basketball game between Quincy and North Quincy and we'll cut away for the starting lineups. Those are the uh, introductions of the starting lineups for the uh, tonight's game. Uh, North Quincy comes in with a record of six and four, uh, having started off uh, six and zero oh, and having dropped the last four consecutive games. Not a great crowd tonight. Uh, I think the weather is a big factor, Doug, in, um, in the sparse crowd we have at the start of this ball game. Yeah, it's a little rough out there tonight, so uh, I, I think they might come in in a little bit. It is still a little early. Well, North Quincy dressed in their uh, traditional red and black, and Quincy in their white shirts with uh, blue shorts. She's about ready to tap off. I wonder if the officials are going to make those girls tuck in their shirts. I don't know. I've been watching them all year, Paul. They, uh, they've been getting away with it. I know that's one of the rules. They're supposed to have them tucked in. Should be a great game tonight. And here goes the tap. North controlled the tap, and uh, Skane was tied up for a jump ball immediately. Now the referee said there was no possession no there, possession so they're there. making the two people that had the ball jump now. Here we go. Got to throw it up a little bit higher on the done toss. Skane and Nichols on the tap. And the uh, tap is controlled by number 21 for Quincy, Kerry Duffy. A loose ball action there, a little foul on Kerry Skane. Official call for a hold. Always a very physical affair. Yeah, there'll be plenty of fouls called tonight. Pam Gray on the wing for Quincy. Looking for Barry inside. Stolen away by Kristen Cohane. Cohane at the uh, break to the top of the circle. Over to Flynn. Laurie Flynn up top over to Kerry Skane. It's Cohane with a jumper from uh, about 15. Well, I'll tell you, you can't give her the shot. She's got a nice little shot. He's a great shooter. Great soccer player. Knott's now in a half-court trap. Wow, no call. Uh, uh, looked like a first and ten to me, Doug. I'm not sure if, uh, uh, what the wow. call would have been. That was a tough one. Might have been a face mask. I'm not sure. Wow. Quincy's in their own 1-3-1 one, one here. It's Kelly Shaw, transfer from Fontbonne. Almost picked off by Gray. Nice pass by Kristen Cohane and Delari Flynn. Now Flynn's the leading scorer for North Quincy. She had a big game last time out. She had 19 against uh, Falmouth, I believe. And Cohane comes up the loose ball. <laughs> Kelly Fernandez almost came up with that loose ball for North Quincy, and uh, Nichols did. They've been getting their hands on a lot of balls here tonight against uh, in that 2-3 zone they're in. 
Early here, we're uh, North Quincy 4, Quincy 0. About two minutes gone in the first half. Well, it looks like uh, they're in a tight 2-3. Yeah, and this, this is going to cause problems for Quincy. Uh, according to Coach Noble, they are uh, they have a little problem putting the ball in the basket this year. They're well, working real hard, but they just, they're just they not the very good shooters, I guess. Well, North is packing that zone in. Let's go yeah, on the wing. Back over to Shaw. Shaw drags the pivot foot. It's called for travel. Yeah, Quincy's going to have to develop an outside game tonight to, uh, to beat that 2-3 zone because it doesn't look like Noss going to let him inside at all. And it's Kerry Duffy for Quincy bringing the ball up the floor. Four number 35, Becky Mackey. Over to Nichols. Nice bounce pass on the baseline. And it's out of bounds. Nice look by, uh, by Nichols across the baseline. Quincy now in a full court trap. He's North Brace East have a layup here. They attack it. And uh, Cohen off. Pull up for a jumper from about eight feet. Cohen has four points early. Drop to Mackey. Mackey looking for Nichols. On the baseline. They got a hold on Kelly Shaw. Well, it probably wouldn't have occurred if she had uh, boxed out. Yeah, well, there's two ex-coaches here, so we, we noticed that. <laughs> and uh, Quincy's running a stack out of bounds. Looking for a lob and a nickels, and it doubled up, and she loses the ball out of bounds. Well, there's another turnover for Quincy. That's like the last three times down the floor they, they've turned it over. Well, North, North's in a tight 2-3. They're not going to be able to force the ball inside. They get a full court, 1-2-1-1, one, 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 and they steal the ball. Not a great decision by Larry Flynn right there. Going to force the ball up the floor. Skane didn't know what uh, was behind her. Yeah, Kerry Duffy's pretty quick. Uh, you got to you know, keep the ball away from her because she'll get her hand on it. Duffy's a nice athlete. Looking for a three from the corner from Duffy, and, and she hits. That breaks the scoring ice for Quincy. It's uh, North Quincy sick, Quincy three. Fernandez looking to Flynn. Over to Cohane. Aaron Barry got a piece of that one. Skane looking for a lay-in. And uh, a little too casual on the, on the layup attempt. Yeah, Pam Gray came out of nowhere to block that shot on the layup. Fernandez with a quick, quick jumper from the uh, baseline. Nothing but air. And here's Duffy up top again. Over to Mackey. It's in, uh, sort of on the wing through to the baseline. Nice skip pass there. Nichols, uh, it looks like she got hit. It looks like she's doing some hitting herself. A little overly aggressive for the sophomore. Yeah, that's Colleen Nichols. She has an awful lot of potential. Uh, Bob Noble's looking for a lot of things from her in the next couple of years. Looking at the uh, squad they have on the floor, though, Doug, it's a predominantly a senior-laden team. She's going to protect that ball better. She's going to step through the double if she can. Can't bring that ball in double. you got to get rid of the ball before the double comes. Absolutely. They're having trouble with the Quincy's defenses. They're going to move the ball a little bit quicker. Someone's going to flash to the ball a little bit better. Too much dribbling against the zone. Quincy's getting a lot of deflections. Kind of a ragged game. Flynn sees Fernandez in the corner. There's a 30-second violation. Great defense by Quincy there. So North could not get off a shot. Very disorganized on offense, too, though, Doug. Yeah, it's like it, it is very ragged, Paul, like you said. It's almost like very, everybody's very nervous start of the game. They're going to calm down and run their uh, offense. Well, they look as cold tonight inside as it is outside. Yeah. There's a... Uh, a Mackey shot that hits the backboard. Barry cleans up the offensive board. We gotta Did keep, not hit the rim. Got to keep Erin Barry off the board. She's a big, tough girl. She's going to get those rebounds for Quincy. And a three-second violation on Quincy High School. I don't know what North is running against this trap here. There should be three across the middle there. 
Again, there's too much dribble. Nichols gets called for a second foul, and that's going to be trouble for Quincy High School. Doug. Absolutely, because she's one of their big rebounders. She's, uh, she and uh, Barry are listed at 5'9 on the program. I think Bobby Noble will call a timeout. I think that's a good call with 11 minutes, 31 seconds left in the half to get him to see if he can calm down his girls. Uh, they, they do have two fouls on Nichols right away, and uh, they, don't, they need her in the game. Yeah, they do. And uh, just, just watching this, it's uh, so reminiscent of so many other games we've seen with Quincy and North Quincy. First five, six, seven minutes or so, Helta Skelta, they're so emotionally high, and then uh, after a while you see them settle down and play much better basketball because right now we're not seeing real good basketball. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Paul. I, I, I seem to remember a few games you and I were on the opposite ends of the bench. The same thing happening. Was that you down there? Yeah. You look different now. Yeah. Well, well now I'm wearing the red and black and, uh, instead of the blue and white. No, I meant you, you have less hair. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. North Quinn's going to get the ball out of bounds at the 30-second clock. Uh, there was a foul on Nichols just prior to that. Scan's going to look to uh, get rid of the ball before the double occurs. So we'll see what, what happens in the timeout. Quincy's still in there, 1-3-1. Duffy up top. And then uh, Flynn does a nice job just splitting. This is Cohane for a long three. Oh. Flynn with a, an offensive rear. Looks like she got grabbed. No call. Again, still ragged. This is... You know, there's no fluidity to the, fluidity to the, this game so far, boy. It's, it's a lot of grabbing and hacking and fouling and not pretty. No, no. I'm talking about the basketball. It's like North's in a little trap of their own. And Quincy uh, throws the ball. It's another unforced turnover. Coach Noble is pulling his hair out over there on the uh, bench. You better be careful. That's how you and I get to this spot. That's right. Again, I got uh, Fernandez looking, uh, running the baseline, but they don't, they don't see it because the doubles, you know, taking the... Uh, a little too much dribbling here. Way too much. You're going to get a five-second count if you're not careful. This is unbelievable. Someone's going someone's to be out there and take control. And Shot people, clock was down to six there, Paul. They almost got another 30-second violation. You know something? Quincy High just helped out North Quincy on that. Absolutely. It's a reset. Ball goes in the Shaw. Offensive board of uh, Laurie Flynn who puts it back. Now, Laurie's having a great year this year for North. I mean, he's really doing a nice job for Coach Panaro. Uh, North is in their defense they call mental. With his run at people and see if they can force a turnover. And they just did. You know, our first substitution of the game. Number 42, Nicole Goldrick. Reports in, replacing Aaron Barry. Goldrick is a 5'9 freshman. No, I, Paul, I think she, that's a forward. Oh, She's sorry. in the 12th grade there. She's a senior. Yeah. I'm sorry. That would be nice in a 5'9 freshman. Oh. It's been a ball movement right there. There you go. Yeah, now they look nice like they're... Uh, I'm not sure if that was a pass or a shot, but Flynn just got fouled underneath. Fanana just, uh, I don't know what she was doing with the ball on the baseline there, Coach. Uh, I think it was a shot because she smiled a little after that. I see. Well, at any rate, it was much better ball moving on North Quincy's much, part. Much, yeah. No, no, not a, no dribbling, and they were able to get off right. a pretty decent shot Yeah, they there. Turned, it over, turned it over a nice shot very quickly. 8-3. We're about uh, six minutes into the first half. And we are starting to fill up in the uh, in the stands, Doug. Yeah, I, I thought it would. You know, as the game progresses, Flynn makes one of two. And that's deflected out of bounds by Laurie Flynn and North Quincy has their first substitution of the game. Number 32, Kristen Bowes, a junior, replaces Fernandez. And North is back in there at 2-3. Yeah, Kristen's Again, usually one of their starters, but. Coach Panaro started all seniors against Quincy tonight. Nice gesture. Goldrick is a lefty there. And that foul is on Duffy reaching in. 
That's where you get caught in the wide open floor. The referees can see it. Noah's putting on the, the ball in. Skane is about ready to throw the ball into Bose. Put Skane on a wing where she's uh, we can shoot. Get a better look at the basket. Uh, North Quincy in a one man front against the one three one zone. I'm not sure that uh, you're doing that. North Quincy going to run a double, double stack, ops the ball, looking for a, a jump shot, step back for Flynn, puts the ball in the floor, nice power dribble. Shaw gets up high for the offensive board. And number 22, Pam Gray, scrapping for the uh, defensive rebound, loses out of bounds. Yeah. Kelly Skane. Shaw has given North a real rebounding force this year. It's been a nice addition to their team. Well, she's played a lot of fun on and there's a, there's a second three of the game. First one by North Quincy. That's Kerry Skane, the senior guard. That's like you said, Paul. Now she has, she's not the point guard. Now she can step back and shoot the ball. Right. That's her game. She's a good shooter. Again, bodies all over the floor. And Loose the ball. Possession arrow points to North Quincy. 12-2, 12, 12 3. So far, the only answer for Quincy High has been the uh, three pointer from the uh, corner for uh, by Kerry Duffy. Scanning a call for a, a travel. It's like a jump stop to me. And another turnover by Quincy. Wow. They, they have to calm down here. They're still not out of this game. It's, it's 12 to 3. It's very early. Uh, this would be going almost going to the second quarter if we played quarters, Doug. So very early in this ball game. Flynn in the corner looking to bounce pass in a shot. Cohane looks like she got hit in the arm and the uh, official caught it. I think she got away with one there, Paul. That looked like she forced up that shot. Definitely forced the shot. No question about that. There are too many people on one side of the floor. Well, again, Quincy helped out North by uh, picking up a, a foul. We have another substitution. Jessica DeBona reports in now for Quincy. Just, just played uh, goalie for the uh, Quincy High girls soccer team. Did a great job for them. Very nice athlete. Cohane makes the first of two. Cohane, one of the senior tri-captains for North Quincy this year in basketball and soccer. Mackey puts it in play over to Duffy. Again, looks like Norris trying to trap out of this. And uh, Bowes gets a deflection. Wow. Kristen Bowes is, is probably the quickest player on North Quincy's team. Like a cat out there, isn't she? She gets her hands on everything. Just a tremendous athlete. A lot of good athletes in the floor for both clubs, though. This skein, little runner on the baseline. And Bowes comes out with the offensive rebound, goes right back up. And gets fouled. I think it's number 3-5 uh, in Mackey. Hope it's not on Nichols. I couldn't see who that was uh, on, Doug, you know? No, I didn't catch it. I'm, I'm looking on the scoreboard now, see well, if they put it up. Nichols just got taken out of the game, and Aaron Morrow just came in to replace her. Aaron's a uh, 5-8 senior. That, that was on Colleen Nichols. That's her third foul, and wow. we still have eight minutes to go in the first half. That's a, that's a difficult... Uh, that's going to hurt, yeah. Sure is. Barry's replacing uh, Goldrick in the lineup for Quincy. North is also in the one-on-one -on -one already, Paul. It was uh, eight minutes ago. So they're going to be shooting one-on-one -on -one in all fouls now for the rest of the half. And then uh, in the tenth, you know, they're going to shoot the two. So over the North Quincy coach. Ed. Go to the basket, girls. Barry with the offensive board. Throws it up. And it's off uh, Cohane's fingertips. And we have a re, uh, another substitution for North Quincy. Caitlin Powers replaces uh, Laurie Flynn. Laurie's playing pretty well out there. Yeah, absolutely. Caitlin's a sophomore. Got a, a nice future with North. Good athlete. Duffy wide open at the top. Off to the side. Cohane comes down with the defensive board. Nice flash cut by Powers, but she loses the handle. And Morrill comes up with a loose ball. Duffy up top for Quincy High School. Over to Mackey. Mackey looking for the three. 
Ooh, Jack just, rims it. Bozy it. comes back up with the loose ball, driving to the hole, and misses the lay-in. And Skang, it's uh, Hammett. <laughs> good, good choice of words from uh, behind. Good foul though. I mean, she's going to have to earn her uh, her two from the line here. Jill Nicholson waiting to report in. It looks like it's going to be for Skain. Table doesn't know who the foul was on. Foul was on number 30, Jessica DeBona, her first. Team's eighth. Skane gets a shooter's roll. Kerry's been having a tough year at the foul line this year. She's either very on or very off. She has decent mechanics. She has great form. Nice backspin on the ball. Back rims it, though. Shaw comes up with the offensive board and gets fouled by number 31, Aaron Morrill. And North uh, picked up a couple of Fawn Pond transfers this year in uh, Shaw and Nicholson. Nicholson's a sophomore. Uh, nice little point guard. And, and Shaw, obviously, as you can see, is a great rebounder. Shaw makes the first one. North Quincy 17, Quincy 3. 7.30 left in the first half. That's a little strong. Cohane gets a piece of it. Nicholson over to Powers. Like a little volleyball, rugby combination. Both teams have settled down a little bit more right now. Uh, DeBona over to Duffy. Skip pass, tipped away by Bose. Nicholson with the uh, up step and the jump. No continuous motion there, Coach? Uh, that's an NBA call, Coach. Yeah. Okay. Nicholson's in the line for, uh, I think they're going to give her two. And we have a timeout on the floor. Well, I, I hope he can't, he can't be giving her two unless it's the 10th foul because uh, otherwise the basket would be good, right? That's correct. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it is the 10th foul. They just put you it up on the board. You make the call, Coach. They just put it up on the board, Coach. So It is two-shot foul because cool. it was before the shot. All right, that makes sense. Nice job by the Quincy High School girls cheerleaders. Oh, well, seven minutes to go here. Coach Noble called another timeout, which is a good thing there, because he's still, they haven't cracked that score since that three-pointer. Duffy uh, rang it up from the corner early in the uh, first half, and I think they've gone about five minutes without scoring, Coach. Jim Nicholson at the line for two. And I think we're at this, uh, we have the uh, same lineup as we finished with. There's been no substitutions. Right. Nicholson and Bowes, the guards uh, for North Quincy. Nicholson makes the first. Jill plays AAU basketball. Where a lot of the kids are getting noticed right now, Doug, uh, is with the AAU. Oh, yeah, they, tra they, they travel all over the country with those teams. It's unbelievable. Nice aggressive look at the unforced they turnover here, Bowes. Hesitation dribbles, finds Powers. Powers has trouble finding the handle. And Barry comes down with the defensive board. Nice rebound by Aaron Barry. Aaron was an outstanding volleyball player for uh, Quincy High School this year. She's a very good athlete. And once again, the question begs the answer. Can you imagine if these two teams were together? Oh. Uh, Duffy's down with a sprained ankle aside. Yeah, she came down on that jump shot. She came down on the uh, ankle of yeah, Jill Nicholson did. and uh, twisted it. Let's hope she's not hurt. Bobby Noble's looking for uh, the official to, to stop play, but you can't do that when the advantage is to the, to the other team. There's Bobby Paula taking out there while uh, they're taking a look at her ankle. Mm -hmm. He's, I think he's arguing about the box out. 
I really didn't watch it, so he may be right. It might have been a little excessive. The uh, Fisher just should take himself away and just go to the other side of the floor. I saw a few people this afternoon, Doug, and they, uh, they weren't aware that the game was still on. They assumed with the uh, cancellation of school that uh, the game would also be postponed. Yeah, we they have another uh, player in the Quincy lineup. Lisa Let Piloto. Number 43, playing the point. Mackey, over to DeBona, over to Piloto. Looking in the corner to Mackey. Runner, left-handed runner is off the glass, no good. Cohan comes down with the rebound. Has Nicholson on the wing. Up top to Bowes. Bowes in the corner to Cohan, being guided by Goldrick. Way too much dribble in this offense against his own. And Quincy's gone back now to a straight 2-3 zone. You know, just pack it in and make North beat them from the outside. Powell, six to the foul line, jump shot. Now, Caitlin paid for me last year on the girls' JV team uh, as a freshman. She's another good athlete. Yes, she is. Auto up top with the ball. Down the wing. Looking for Barry. Back up top to Mackey. Inside to Goldrick. Goldrick puts the ball on the floor. Throws up a runner. No good. Rebound by Mackey. Puts it up. No good. Rebound off the hands of Barry. It's almost Goldrick like North doesn't want it. And Cohane finally comes up the defensive board for North Quincy. Looking to run. Over to Nicholson, and she turned to shoot the ball before she caught it. Two substitutions for North Quincy, Doug. Here we got uh, Deirdre, Mar uh, Deirdre Jacobs and uh, Lauren Liuzzo coming in. A couple of underclassmen, juniors. So North Quincy, has a, uh, their whole starting lineup is out of the game. As is most of Quincy's. There's Mackey in the corner. Rebound Liuzzo. Over to Bowes. Bowes looking at Nicholson. On the wing. Liuzzo, back to Bowes. Much better ball movement. This is backboard on that, I think. This North squad that's out here now is the team that will probably be playing next year with the uh, graduation of all the seniors. Pretty good quickness. Not a very smart foul. No, no. That's only North's third. Um, as a team. Uh, that, that foul is on Kristen Bowes. And there's another underclassman coming in, Ashley Murphy. 41. Who's uh, also played for me last year on the JV team as a, as a freshman. That replaces Nicholson, who's been in the game for about three minutes. The Bonner comes down with the offensive ball, looking at Mackey up top, over to Barry. Barry puts the ball on the floor, a runner. And she gets hammered by Caitlin Powers. This will send uh, Aaron Barry to the line for two. Seeing a little uh, inexperience here now with these fouls. Uh, some of the underclassmen, you know, very, being very aggressive. And Barry misses the first one. Got to make the free throws. Duffy's back and looks like her ankle's okay. That's good news for Quincy High School. Absolutely. Yeah, they need her on the floor. She's the leader out there with the, with the point guard. A, definitely a steady influence for them on the point. Barry uh, makes a second. Breaks a, uh, about an eight-minute drought for, North, uh, for Quincy in the scoring column. Bows. High post over the power is falling away by DeBona. Nice bounce pass. Liuza makes a nice recovery. Back to DeBona. And Bose comes down with the uh, defensive board and puts it on the floor too, too soon. quickly. Yeah. Hey, now we got some movement on the ball. Jessica DeBona sticks the open jump shot. We get three girls from North Quincy covering the kid at the point. Must have read the scouting report on huh? Is Murphy with a little jump shot from the side. Can't let her shoot. She's a good little athlete, Ashley Murphy. A nice ball movement again. There's DeBona. Top to Mackey. Over to Duffy. 
Duffy looking uh, into Dubona. Quincy's look Jackson like they've Duffy. relaxed now yeah, a little better. And both ball. teams are now starting to move the ball better. That's right. That was a good move by the senior. Drew the foul on that one. Really didn't have a shot. And here comes number three, Rachel Powers, replacing Kristen Bose. Ken Panaro has played every single player on his bench with three minutes to go in the first half. Yeah, that's nice to be able to get in this big game. Rachel's another uh, underclassman, a junior. Duffy makes the first. And yeah, makes the second. 23 to 8. 15. North Quincy, uh, Quincy goes back into their full court uh, press. You know, this, this can turn around very, very quickly um, when you have some inexperience on the floor. The North has to be careful here. It's been a good shot. Now it looks like she got fouled. No call. Wow, the, the refs definitely got fouled. The refs are letting it go. Definitely letting it go. Nice deflection by Liuzzo over to Jacobs, over Rachel Powers. It's fouled. And Rachel Powers is going to go to the line for, uh, for two. Yeah, that foul is on Rebecca Mackey. I think that's her second or third. They'll put it up on the board. It might be her second. Well, maybe it's her first. Oh, okay. they, I thought that was her second, but they, they listed it as her first. Rachel Powers is a good little shooter. She's watching her in warm-ups. She's got nice, uh, again, nice shooting form. Nice rotation on the ball. And uh, senior try captain Laurie Flynn is going to replace Caitlin Powers. Flynn's been on the bench for about seven minutes, eight minutes. That's an interesting substitution with two minutes left, 30 seconds. And Powers misses the second, and Flynn gets called for a push from behind. Quincy will be taking the ball out of bounds because that's still not in the one-on-one -on -one yet. That's only the sixth team foul on North. Nice block by Deer to Jacobs there. That shot. There's Goldrick with the uh, three. A rainbow. A rainbow. A three ball. Boy, that, that had a lot of arc on it. Three ball side pocket on that one, I think. No, I still up 12. Right for putting the ball on the floor. And gets hammered by Aaron Barry. Ashley Murphy's going to do the free throw line for two. Last couple of minutes, Doug, it's gotten ragged again. Yeah. Aaron Morrill's reporting back in the game. For uh, Goldrick, that's Gold her second foul. And Goldrick just hit the three. That's uh, too bad. I don't think Coach Noble wants another player on his team to get three in the first half. He's already got Nichols on the bench now with three. Quinn's been able to hang tough, though. They're only down 12. I'll tell you, Paul, they're playing good defense. You know, they're, they're yeah. really pressuring North and giving them a hard time. They're packing it down. That's uh, one, out, one out of two for uh, Ashley Murphy. She has three points in the game. North Quincy 24, Quincy 11. Nice look by Duffy, weak side. Oh, like a there's a foul by Lauren Liuzzo. Stepped in. Looks like they might have been a two-step before the foul, though. They're going to shoot one-on-one -on -one here. On both teams are going to be at the free throw line every foul. For the next minute and 59 seconds. There's a good shot of Becky Mackey. Good looking free throw. Mackey dips. She shoots. And she front rims the second one. Jacobs with the rebound. Over to Flynn. Flynn the point forward. Over to Murphy. Murphy looking to Leuze. Leuze is a nice shooter. There's Laurie Flynn with a nice rebound. rebound. Put back. 
Very nice. Wow. Right place at the right time. A lot of pressure on the ball. That corner is going to be open all all day. Well, you, you can't let uh, Jessica Devonner open. That's no, their second jump two. shot now. Yep. Looking for Jacobs over to Flynn. Little runner. Probably could have taken it for the hole on that one. Minute 15 to go. Devonner over to Duffy. Quincy down 12. Free ball here could put him right back in it, Coach. Oh, absolutely. Duffy with a runner. Uh, Leo's with the rebound over to Rachel Powers. Powers going to look to settle things down right here now. Sees Murphy in the corner. Looking for Flynn. Looks like it goes off Flynn's hand. It's going to be a bounce pass on the baseline there. 50 seconds to go. 25 seconds on the uh, 30 second clock. I'm going to oh, there's a, hoop a big on basket one. there. Nice pass by Erin Barry underneath to uh, the Morrow girl, Erin Morrow. She gets fouled and makes the basket. Well, those, the low blocks uh, are wide open. Well, low blocks and corner in this defense. And, uh, yeah, that men mental defense. Uh, that's where it's weak. We have a 10 point game again. It could be nine. Oh, Quincy gets the rebound. Erin Barry tips the ball, keeps it alive. We were talking about Matthew earlier. Puts it in. Eight point game, and there's a Turned turnover by Rachel Powers. I have an eight point, uh, six Jessica point ball Devonna game. with another basket on the rebound. And we have a tie game, uh, tied the ball up there with the possession going to Quincy. What a turnaround in the last minute, Coach. It was a six-point game now with North leading 26-20 with 16 seconds left. Quincy has come to life here, stealing the ball and uh, also getting re offensive rebounds. And well, they're back in the game. Well, nice gesture putting all the kids in. Absolutely. But, but now it's a six-point ball game. This is not a game you can fool around with. You know as well as I do, Coach. You've been there. Well, that uh, we said it was things a 15, can turn around very when we, quickly. When we said it was a 15-point ball game, we said clearly that Quincy was not out of it. They made a run. Um, well, we have North bringing back all their uh, starters now. Laurie Flynn, Kristen Cohan, Kerry Skane, and Kelly Shaw. 16 seconds left in the half. Quincy's ball. Get a two ball here or a three ball. It's uh it's not a single digits anyway. We have a three second count. We have a oh, ten seconds left to go in the first half. That's too bad. Uh, they had another chance to score there. Well, let's see what North does here. They have ten seconds to go. I'd go to Flynn. And that's what they're looking for. Almost stolen. And a little screen along the baseline might free someone up down along the corner here. See what they run. Four seconds left. Comes Bowes into the corner. They come back to Skane for a three ball. Nothing. And, and that's the end the of the half. half. The score at halftime is North Quincy 26, Quincy 20. We'll be back for second half action shortly. Welcome back to uh, the Quincy North Quincy girls basketball game. We're uh, 30 seconds into the second half. North Quincy holding a six point edge. We got us a ball game, Paul. Yeah, we do. Mackey comes up with a loose ball with a Duffy. There's Nichols for the travel. 
Been on the bench for a long time. He's probably a little bit anxious coming back. Let's see if North can uh, regain that uh, momentum they had early in the game. Sometimes you never get it back. Yeah, that's true. That's so you've got to be careful of. As Shaw, she's tough underneath. Nice bounce pass. Nice entry pass in uh, from Kerry Skane. Bowls up top on Duffy. Closely guarded. In the into Barry. Barry kicks it back out to Duffy. Move along the baseline. Shut up by Shaw. No one rotated down on Barry. They were lucky to, on that. A North Quincy foul. Nice baseline move there by Pam Gray. Fouls on Cohan, I believe. That's her first personal foul. North's first of the second half. Pam Gray in the free throw line for two. This is the first. Gray is a 5'6 senior. Captain. <laughs> Dips, shoots, and makes the second. Looks like Quincy going to come out with full court pressure here. Yeah, they gave Knott some fits with it in the first half. Well, they have no rhyme or reason how to break this. Look up the floor, attack the press, get a layup out of it. Now that'll end the press right away. There we go. Going to give it up right here. Nice bounce pass into nice, Shaw. Nice pass by Kristen Cohane to Kelly Shaw for the layup. You attack the press correctly, Doug. You know it and I know it. It's layup city. Nice back cut. Mackey over to Nichols. Nichols looking inside. Over to Duffy. Duffy with a runner. Tell you, uh, Quincy's holding their own on the offensive boards. Nichols looking for a foul. Doesn't know the rule that hands part of the ball. Skane, attack the press here. Over to Bose. Bose over to. Takes Whoa. her to, take to the stop. I thought she was going to dump it off the shot. Wow, what a nice take to the basket. North quickly up by 11. Cohan gets a piece of it. Mackey. Over to Barry, baseline jumper, it's good. Nothing but net. Nice drill penetration by Becky Mackey. Flynn, looks over to Bose, Bose off the glass, a little too strong. Barry comes down with the rebound. Over to Duffy. Duffy quickly into the full court. It's Mackey, flash cut by Aaron Barry. Little runner in the lane, no good. Rebound by Kelly Shaw. Bowles has it. She had Flynn wide open on the uh, wing. Didn't see her. Ah, there we are. North attacked the, uh, really attacked them there, Doug. Attacking the rim now. Kerry Skane with a nice uh, feed from Chris, Kristen Bowes and uh, makes the basket and gets fouled. We have an 11-point game again. Uh, did uh, Jacobs replacing Kelly Shaw. Looks like she's a bit winded over there, Doug. Wonder what that's from. I don't know. They have been running the floor a lot. Could be that. Skane, three-point play. Puts North Quincy up 35-23. It's a runner. Flynn down with the rebound. Up ahead to Cohen, throws it away. Bad pass. A breakaway here. Number 22, Pam Gray lays it up and in. Rebecca Mackey picked that bad pass uh, off bad, and uh, made bad, a nice feed. Yeah, it was a bad decision. Oh, nice, nice, nice pass. Dish. Excellent dish from uh, Bowes. Or again, attack the press to getting layups, Doug. Absolutely. Yeah. There's Gray in the wing, into Barry. Deflected away by Bowes. This is about the fifth. Well, six deflections she's gotten. Oh, what nice a great pass. look by Skane. This did to Jacobs with yeah, the she missed the layup. The miss. They're partially blocked. What's he called? Missing the bunnies, Doug? 
Oh, there's a nice steal by Kristen Ball. She is so quick. She is. She's got great hands. And North uh, Quincy wants a timeout here. The 22 p.m. Gray called the timeout for Quincy High School. I could see why you had a successful uh, soccer season with Kristen Bowes in your net. The nice news is she's back. Really? Yeah, she had nine shutouts this year. She had tremendous hands. Uh, again, we just call nicknamed the cat. She's very, very quick. Quick as a. Uh, North has uh, quickly built the lead up also to 14 points, Doug, after uh, squandering a, a 15, 16 point lead in the first half. Well, as you said, though, Coach, uh, the uh, lead was squandered with the second team in and the third team in the game. And uh, Coach Panaro was giving everybody a chance to play, but now he's got the starters back in and they've built it back up again. We have 11.57 uh, left in the half. They're doing a nice job breaking the press this half, which they didn't do in the first half. Well, they're attacking it now. I mean, they're really going at it. Number 31 in the ball game, Aaron Morrill for Quincy. Duffy looking gray into Barry. Barry taking it strong to the hole, and she's uh, bumped by Jacobs. Aaron's a tough kid. It's hard to keep her away from the ball. She, she flash cuts really well to the ball, gets herself open, and then makes nice moves when well. she gets the ball. North may have to double down on her and make them kick the ball out. And they make them beat him from the outside. And Barry makes the first. There's a view of the crowd, which has filled up considerably, Doug. Oh, yeah, the gym is filling up now. All, all the bleaches are starting to fill in. People are showing up. Aaron dips and shoots and makes a second. 39-27, North Quincy, 12-point lead. Bowes slowly in the front court. Jacobs put the ball one dribble to the floor and is hacked by Barry. Nice power move there by Deirdre. Not afraid to take it right to the rim. All you need is that one power dribble. Take it to the take it to the hole. She's going to shoot two from the free throw line. It looks like Quincy's now playing almost a matchup zone. The uh, the two three is is way out. They got the guard covered by someone. They're trying to cover the outlet pass. That's Jake. why Deirdre was open there on the inside as Jacobs makes the first and, and you know the, the other thing is that the North flashes someone to the foul line that's wide open also so see how the point guards attack that and Deirdre Jacobs makes both foul shots they have a 14 point lead again Gray up top trying to force it into oh. Barry Flynn comes up with a steal and is fouled by Gray tough Laurie good has foul a, though you know why they would have had a breakaway layup Kristen Bowes all by herself down the end of the yeah. floor so it was a good foul by uh, Pam Gray who's replaced in the Quincy lineup by Jessica DeBona. Bowes assuming the point guard duties here. Yep, they back way off a of skein there. She throws up the three ball. Not a bad looking shot. Oh. Would you say that she gained an advantage by rolling on the ground, coach? Yes. That's Can't what, roll on the ground. And that's why the whistle was blown. Here we go, North Quincy out of bounds. People in the Step stands back. don't understand that call, but that is a good call. Big tough rebound by Aaron Barry there. Yeah. Flynn had a nice look at the basket there. There's DeBonner on the wing. Back up top to Mackey. Over to Duffy. Duffy looking for a two and sticks the jumper. Right. Rattles it in. They got to get her open more often. She's a good shooter. She hit the three early in the game, never went back to her. And North Quincy calls a timeout with a 41 29 lead. 10 51 left to go in the second half. Um, North quickly built the lead back up to 14, and uh, Quincy just cut a little bit off of it, Doug. Yeah, the uh, Coach Panaro didn't like what he saw on that defense. Can't let, uh, you can't let uh, Duffy shoot like that. She's too good a shooter. And Quincy's got to get Duffy more involved in their offense. I nice know player. she's twisted her ankle in the first half, but she's out there, so they're going to have to give her some looks at the basket because she's is definitely a good shooter. Well, part of the problem, though, Doug, is also she's handling the ball out at the top. And unless they're going to run her through to the baseline of the wing, she's not going to get the ball back in a good spot to shoot. So yeah, That's true. Quincy's hanging tough, even though they, they're down again, 11. Uh, this, this not letting them run away with it. Skane put the ball in play for North Quincy. They're running here on out. There's Jacobs 
flashes to the to the post and Bose tries to force it in. Jessica DeBono with the quick hands there yep. steals the ball. We got it. It is uh, DeBuana putting the ball in play over to Duffy. Over to DeBuana. Screened down by Morrill, so free up Barry. Just didn't, didn't find her. There she is again. Duffy. They, they're doing just that, Coach, wow. what you said. They're running her through and then rotating the ball back to her for the jump shot. And she's hit another one. Using the old kiss principle, keeping it simple. Yep. You know, that's all. This basketball is an easy game. Oh, Kristen Cohane. Let it blow out of bounds. Yeah, Again, putting it little. on the floor a little too quick. A little bit of a bump, but no advantage there. When Rebecca the Mackey was right there to bother her. Duffy. What are the Buana? Here's the exchange. They're going to go back over to. Oh, to there Duffy. she is. They get it to her again. She's got the hot hand. And she's on fire. She's got the hot hand. Here yeah, we go. Kerry Duffy with another That's jump shot. You know, if they're going to continue play zone, then they're going to have to. Oh, no. We throw, throw the ball away. Wow. Bad pass there by Laurie Flynn off Kerry Skane's hands, and uh, the, uh, the, the Bonner girl picked it off again with a lay, went in for a layup, but missed. So the Bonner over to Mackey. Finds Duffy up top in three point land into Barry. It's Barry Barry will turn around. No good. Cohane with a strong rebound, weak side. You know, North in the first four minutes. In the first four minutes, they're attacking the press. Now they're looking backwards instead of attacking again, Doug. I don't, know. I don't get it. I don't either, Coach. That's eight point deficit here. The Quincy's uh, down two in this half. Cohane looking for Jacobs in the flash, got nothing there. Bowles swings the ball down to the baseline over to Flynn. Little runner. That's a nice little look right there. They get Laurie Flynn open on the baseline. Now she's deadly when she's that close. When they start running at her, she can put the ball on the floor. She's got a pretty good first step. It's Mackey over to Duffy. Duffy's been hot. Back rims it. It's all right. I like to see that. Just keep shooting, kid. Quincy's in a 1-2-2 two, two now, Doug. He's changing the defense. Yeah, they changed up their defense. Nice look. That's a great pass from uh, Bozo. Bozo yeah, absolutely. Look, looked opposite, and Laurie Flynn was open, gave her the ball, and she got fouled. Flash cuts weak side. If that, uh, that defender weak side is not, is not uh, in proper defensive position, that's wide open all the time. Right. Good yeah. guy will pick that apart. Flynn has two. Kristen, sees, Kristen Bowes sees the floor very well, so she, she'll get the ball there if the people are open. That ball went every place but in. Let's flint the line for a second. North up by 10. Make it 11. And we're back to that 11 mark again. Barry over to Duffy. Duffy worked hard this uh, half here. Get the ball back to her. Over to Barry. Mackey in two. Two land. Barry with a strong rebound. See you get up there, Doug? Way up there. Uh, the Bonner back rims and uh, Cohane, another board. She must have five or six rebounds this game. Got strong effort just in the last couple of minutes. He's doing a nice job on the weak side rebound. Yeah, I like the way Norris is uh, flashing cutters through the lane here. That's much better movement with the ball and without the ball. That was a pretty good look here for uh, Bose. She didn't take the shot. This gain, free three. ball. Back rims, front rims that one. It's a foul. No call. Oh, there you go. Weak side rebound Duffy. there. By Duffy. Rebecca Mackey took it all the way down. Looked like she got fouled. And on the rebounding action, Duffy gets the ball, basket, and a foul. And it's a nine point deficit. Duffy looking to cut it to eight with 8.16 left in the second half. Dips, shoots, and makes it. Nothing but net. Skane, take the ball to bounce from North Quincy. Up eight. Over to Flynn. Skane over to Cohane, over to Bowes. Bowes attacks the press. Lays oh, up to Deirdre Jacobs. Jacobs. Missed the first one. Did a nice job get to the other side of the uh, Very aggressive for the yeah. offensive rebound. Very aggressive to get that. 
Need that from her. This Nichols. Nichols uh, went out, Doug. I didn't see her go out. I don't Must know have why. been at the timeout. Back in. I don't think she scored a hoop yet this uh, this game, though, has she? Uh, she's been in foul trouble most of the game, so she's kind of been limited on what she's doing. The old saying, you can't score from the bench. Official. Let's look for a wet spot in the floor. Yeah, there may be some water over there. People have been walking in and out, and it's a, you know how bad it is outside tonight. They're uh, bringing water in on their feet. And the hey, it's not much warmer in here, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're definitely not springing too hard for the heat here. Jacobs makes the first. Doesn't want the second? What's going on here? I, I don't understand. It was not a two-shot foul. Laurie Flynn is now asking. Laurie Flynn's now asking Flynn why we aren't getting the second one. Except for you and I. Hey, we're on top of the game. That's right. Us and Laurie Flynn. That's right. And now we're going to get the second shot. <laughs> Jacobs took us off off the line. Let's see what she does here. He misses it. Mackey, tough rebound. The bottom. Nice. Oh, Steal by Flynn. And we it's hit by DeBon inadvertently, but it's still a foul. Great hustle by both kids. Right. Laurie just spends a lot of time on the floor. I think she could have played for us when we coached, Doug. Oh, absolutely. Love that kind of player on the floor absolutely. all the time. She's a throwback to our, our era. Absolutely. This is Bose looking to uh, Cohen on the wing. Bounce pass into Flynn. Takes a strong to the hole. Misses the layup. Picked up by DeBona. Over to Duffy. Duffy looking for Barry. Skane almost picks it. North in the 2 3. It's that the flash, flash cut. cut wide yep. open every time. Weak side. I don't know who's on the weak side there. Uh, I think it was Flynn. That time seconds. it was on Laurie Flynn's side. Yeah, it uh, was. But they've been coming from both yep. ways. They're doing yep. a nice job with that weak yep. side flash cut. It's been wide open. Take North that. got lucky there. Uh, Duffy traveled. Nice bounce pass from Bowles over to Skane. What a great look by Flynn. See that pass on the baseline? It's a great wow. pass. Kerry couldn't quite hold on to it and stepped out of bounds. Well, let's see Skane stay out in the wing and let Cohane take that bounce pass weak side like that. Duffy over to Mackey. Up top to DeBona. Over to Duffy. Duffy should have shot that. Aaron Barry puts it on the floor, almost stole. Barry. Barry, this little jump hook. Wow. You don't see that very often in the girls' game. Nope. Well, she can elevate. Yeah, she's shown that tonight on a couple of the rebounds. That volleyball back really has come out with mm -hmm. her jumping ability. Mm -hmm. North is up nine. Cam Gray back in the lineup for DeBona. DeBona did a nice job when she's in there. She's really a hustler. Yeah, she works hard. And Kelly Shaw coming back in for Deirdre Jacobs. And Jacobs did a nice job when she was in there. Deirdre's got three fouls now. And uh, so Coach is going to give her a break, I guess. But she did do a nice job. Very aggressive on the boards. Barry missed a foul shot tonight. I don't, maybe one. Uh, not very many, though. She's got nice form. Cuts lead to eight, and cuts the lead down to seven. Seven oh five left in the ball game. This game's not over by Flash any means. Flash cut the bows. Oh, it's a nice idea. It's the first time they've uh, flashed anybody to the middle, Doug, to break the press. Yeah, Rebecca Mackey got caught reaching in. We got one and one now. For the rest of the half. Well, the key to this ball game is to make your free throws now. You know, you're in one on one with seven oh four to go. You go to the line, you got to make them both. Absolutely. Shaw did a nice job of tipping that on the offensive glass. That's that new rule this year, Doug, where the uh, kids have to wait till the ball hits the free, uh, till the rim yeah. like we used to play. Yeah, it's given the uh, defensive people on that a lot more chance of getting a rebound now. Person in the second space, really. Oh, that was a tough one. Kristen Bowes kind of found the ball in her hands well, <laughs> while she was running. Pass a little bit of a lazy pass. A little shop of pass that wouldn't have happened, I think. That's easy for us to say over here, though. North in the half-court trap here. Hey, there's that block that's open again down the baseline. 
Nichols took a strong in the hole. Flynn comes up with a loose ball. Hurries into the front court. Looks to Bowes. Bowes over to Skane. Looking for a little. Yeah. Referee good, call the kick. Good, good call. Yeah, a little late, but it was a good call. There's a reset on that. Going to go new 30 for North Quincy. 45-38. North Quincy has a seven-point lead. Skane looking up top. Over to Flynn. They're going to reverse the. Uh, I thought they're going to reverse the ball back over to Skane. Oh, there's Nichols' fourth foul. Oh, boy, I'll tell you, that's definitely a sophomore mistake. Kristen Cohane driving baseline. I mean, she didn't beat her to the baseline, Doug, and then she reached out and fouled the compound yep. the error. She's got four fouls, I think. Uh, Cardinal rule in this game is don't give up baseline. What do you think? You're down seven. You're going to take her out? You're going to go with her? I don't know. She's pretty active on the board, so it's, it's a tough call for Coach Great. Noble. Game. So, defensively, I'll tell you, some of these kids just don't have the basic fundamentals. Terry Skane looked like she caught an elbow or something on that one. <laughs> Again, first move to the baseline. She didn't take it away. Nichols going to swing the ball back into Duffy. Hot earlier. Try to free her up again. Screen down or something. There's a deflection by Flynn. Skane with a nice, nice attempt at a save there. Pam Gray on the wing, looking inside to uh, Nichols. And we have uh, North Quincy ball, Aaron Barry to the floor. Looks like she was digging. Digging with Laurie, with Laurie Flynn there. there the two of them pounding each other, trying to get that ball. No one scored for about a minute and a half here. That looked like a travel. Boy, well, Skane's not having a good night shooting tonight. You, you know, she hit that first shot, and that was it. You, you, you Laurie gotta, Flynn with a tough hustle rebound there. Made a nice pass to Kelly Shaw underneath, and then You're right. the uh, Mackey girl, Rebecca, jumped in there and tied her up, and they get the possession arrow. Getting back to Skane, though, you know, it's not falling for you, you got to do something else. You know, penetrate and dish. Just Laurie Flynn again, again with her hands on the ball. Kelly Shaw bellies up nicely. They got a double down the low post there, and uh, Kelly Shaw comes up with a loose ball. Minute and a half has gone by. No one scored. Just see them take the ball to the hole a little bit here. Travel. Lari trying to do a little bit too much in the middle there. And Jessica Devonna comes back in. In the three second area, you can't put the ball on the floor. No. Just go up and shoot the ball. You're that close to the basket. You better be shooting it. North has got to get something off the trap uh, to open this up a little bit more. But again, the Quincy guys doing a great job of uh, That was a nice play there by Laurie Flint. She knocked the ball. It took two, her and another Quincy player are out of bounds, and she knocked it off the Quincy girl. Now, Quincy was giving North fits, and they've taken their press off. I'm not sure if they're a little bit tired or what, but... Oh, they, it's still a seven-point game here. Yeah. Coach Noble maybe nice, giving nice a little dish. break. Did you see that pass? Yeah, that was a great pass. You gotta finish that. You can't capitalize though. No, you gotta finish that. You gotta kick that out, Kelly. Kelly Shaw with a nice move. Can't finish. Gotta kick it out. McNichol gets the. Uh, she got swallowed up in the baseline. Nichols down gets there. the rebound. Dubona still a seven-point ball game. Again, two minutes have gone by. No one scored. It's Duffy again. Duffy. Oh, back rim is it? Nice, nice looking, looking shot. shot. Yeah, it was right there. Yeah. Don't get. You know, they're giving her good looks, and you know, I don't get it. Look at this. Oh, North can't find the basket all of a sudden. Four minutes and 30 seconds left, and they're, they're in a scoring drought, along no. with Quincy. You know, you're not shooting well from the outside. What would you do, Doug? Well, here's one reason. I bring in Jill Nicholson, just like Coach Panaro did. She's a shooter. Kay. She might light it up a little bit here. and uh, Have a little full spark anyway. This oh, there's Laurie Flynn. Flynn with another touch on the ball. Boy, if you read that, over to Nicholson. Nicholson with a little baseline jumper. I'm going to tell you, nice. Laurie Flynn touches 90% of the balls that come in the front court for Quincy. She's there we go. Over. That was, oh, that, that pick that hurt. hurt. Yep. And, they, and North got something off their defense. Well, they made them turn it over. They got two off their defense. They weren't scoring with the jump shot. With Barry. 
Barry looks inside of Nichols. Nichols with a, a rainbow. Nice turnaround shot there by uh, Pauline Nickel. That's her first hoop of the game. 47-40. 3.51 to go. Bose. Oh, almost picked off by uh, Mackey. Well, there's a lack of communication on the sideline over there. Hey, Rebecca Mackey's all over the floor, too. She yeah, she's played a, a nice lot of game today. For Quincy. She looks like the Laurie Flynn of Quincy. Nicholson. Over to Bose. Quincy staying in the zone real tight. You can't force that in. No, no. That angle's Kristen not Bose has got to get a better angle, and, and she should be reversing it over here. Jill Nicholson's wide open over here. Oh, there's a bad pass by Kristen Bose. She's got to calm down a little bit here. We have a seven-point game still with three minutes, 30 seconds left. Let's see if North gets some out of their defense again. Oh, that nice cross-court. Nice weak side uh, That's skip pass. Skip pass down on the block. The five-point And we're game, in a five-point game with three minutes, 13 seconds left. Quincy hanging tough here. To bet. Not the same as in the first half when North seemed to dominate. Well, like you said, once you have momentum. Oh, what a move by Laurie Flynn and couldn't quite finish it. She got bumped. Kristen Gohane with a good defensive play there to knock away that fast break. That'll be Quincy ball out of bounds with 25 seconds on the shot clock. And North Quincy wants a timeout. 2.54 to go. And you see the score. North Quincy 47. Quincy 42. And what you said earlier, Coach, I think is true. I mean, North had the momentum in the first half, made the substitutions, and now... They, they never <laughs> got that momentum back. When you got a team that you can put away, you got to put them away first. Put them away early. Keep them away. <laughs> I've been in too many games in my career as a coach and seen this same thing happen. And then you're in a game, you're fighting in the rest of the game. That's right. And then you get tighter. You know, you, the, you, yeah. the other team starts to close the gap. You play a little more tentatively. They get a couple of turnovers. They're in their home gym. And look where we are now. We've got a five-point game. Quincy's got the ball under the basket. Duffy frees up for a three ball. We've got a two-point game, Coach. It's not over till it's over. Let's see if Coach Panaro can uh, pull the troops together here for the last three minutes of the game. All right, who we got taking the ball out of bounds here for Quincy? Get the cheerleaders in our way here. The, I think it's the, the Bonner. Bonner. Yeah. Over to uh, Nichols. Back to the Bonner. Bonner for the Look shot. The three ball. Uh, overshoots. Hey, not a they, bad, not a bad they, out of bounds play. They put that three in, and, and we again, really put the pressure on. Got a great look. Yeah. I'll tell you this: well, one, two, two has given North a little bit of fits the second half. Weak side flash cut. Got to be wide open on that. There's Bose with a free ball. I don't like I don't like North's offense right now at all. No, no, I don't like it. No. Well, nice pass to DeBona by Mackey. To, to try to shoot the ball too much from outside. Oh, in and out. Here we go. There's a break. There's a two-on-one if they can capitalize. Bose with a scoop. Nickel with a big rebound there, way off her feet. Nickel's almost picks from behind. He's over to DeBona. DeBona. Boy, they're getting no good. some nice looks at the basket now. Oh, that That's was off North Quincy, I think. Mackey tried, tried to, to press that into. Uh, Try to force it into Barry. Yeah, to Barry to get it. There's Mackey in the corner, loses out of bounds. <clears throat> Tough pass, going away from the uh, basket. Let it you know, a little it bit too much. It seems like they've gone away from Duffy again, coach. I don't understand. I mean, she was hit. She had three or four jumpers no. in a row there. North's been on the one-on-one, -on -one, uh, coach, since the uh, seven-minute mark. They yeah, haven't gone the line since. Too much, too many jump shots. Nice, nice up and under. Nice Flynn. There you go. Get nice the ball move. inside. Look what happens. Nice move. Strategy right now could be get a layup or take it to the hole and get a foul. Yep. Again, they were, they're in the one-on-one. -on -one. With seven minutes to go, and this is the first time they've been back to the line. Taking jump shots. I know, they're, they're settling for that jump shot rather than push it inside and try to draw the foul. Flynn looks, uh, she looks good though. Oh yeah, she's, she's got nice form. She's a great athlete. Yep. 
soccer player, softball player. Oh, nice, oh. nice steal by Cohane. Kelly, Kelly uh, Shaw did a nice job of uh, defending down the post yeah, too. Kristen stepped right in on that weak side pass. Now, if North plays a smart here, there's a jump shot. Yes. Here we go. Coach, I don't know. If we coach this team, we wouldn't have any more here left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too bad. Quincy had a nice chance. Maybe to, both teams. To score there, and they threw the ball away. Minute 18 left now. Quincy's looking for a timeout and guess one. 118 now, left, seven point deficit. Now it's getting a little more desperate with one, only a minute 18 left and uh, Quincy down well, seven. Well, it, it, Quincy cannot afford to sit back in the zone right now. They've got to come out man to man. They're down seven. It's a three possession game basically. And they can't afford to throw it away like no. they just did. That, no. that, you know, they need to score. So my guess is that Quincy's either going to come out in a trap or they're going to come out man to man full. Deny the uh, deny the uh, entry passes. Yeah, they're going to have to do something here, Coach, to uh, force the issue. We're running out of time. This is Coach Noble. Let's see what he comes up with here. Kids have played a gutsy game, I'll tell you so far. Minute 18. You know, he told me earlier that his teams have been in games with their defense, and I'll tell you, I'm impressed. Yeah. Their defense has been very good. Tell the kids impressed. Two kids impressed me for Quincy, though. It's Aaron Barry and uh, Kerry Duffy. Boy, I'll tell you. Yeah. It, wow. And DeBonner and Mackey played well for them also. Really did a nice job. They get that full right, court, uh, court one, court two, trap. one, one again. Go. They can't run the baseline here. There's the uh, trap. Oh, ball. we got a kick ball. A reset. You know, if North puts someone else at half court, they can break this so easily. So flash on the ball from the weak side, wide open. Waiting for the cheerleaders to uh, get off the baseline. <laughs> Minute 17 to go, one tick off the clock on that. Flynn in the bows, back to Flynn. Not a nice travel. That's a great, great look. Nice pass, but Kelly Shaw couldn't find the handle and uh, goes out of bounds off. You know, you're up seven. You don't need to force that in there. No. Bring Pull it back, back out. out use up clock. the 30-second shot clock. Right. Oh, we could coach together. You want to still in a half court. I'd be afraid of this only because sometimes you go in a half court trap like that, you, you give up an easy hoop. Yeah. You don't need to. I know. You're up seven. Minute to go. Defend the three here. Let's take away the, the three fine Duffy. Nine Duffy, that's all. Don't let her shoot the three ball. There's Nichols Nickel over to Barry. Barry. Off her, uh, uh, Shaw. 12 seconds left on the shot clock. 50 seconds to go in the game. Seven point deficit. Uh, North needs to pack the zone in. They need a basket here right away. Duffy's up top. Two Nicholson's or three doesn't her. make any difference. They need to Even score. A wild shot, not a, not a good shot There's at all. There's DeBona with a rebound. Kept alive by wow. Aaron Barry. And they score and call a timeout. Quincy calls a timeout. It's a good timeout by Coach Noble Absolutely. also. Absolutely. Down five now with 43 seconds left. Go over some strategy here. See what they're going to do on the uh, try to steal the ball again. Probably with their 1-2-1-1 one, one, one again. Why not? I mean, North, on the, North threw it away the last time on the floor. This is so. turning out to be a very interesting finish. It's a uh, very interesting ball game. It's a, a good teaching. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of teaching going on out here. Yep. Again, the Quincy High School cheerleaders. The gym is really starting to fill up now. People standing around the edges. You know, you see, look around the gym, Doug, and you can see a lot of the people that were there when we coached. Oh, yeah. And also. When we played. When we played. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Well, it's a it's, great following of this Quincy North rivalry. The problem right now, Doug, is though that we can't see in the stands as well as we used to. Yeah, that's true. I didn't wear glasses when I was in high school at Quincy High. And I still refuse to wear them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go, Coach. 43 seconds left. North Quincy up five. Jacobs is in the game. It's a curious substitution. He's looking for here. Bows over to Flynn. I don't like that. I don't oh. like that at all. Boy, they're doing a nice job with this trap. There's no 10-second rule in girls' basketball, so. Oh. Wow, that's, that's going to be a hard foul. Yow. That was a hip check. 
Well, now Kristen Bo uh, Cohane has to go to the line and make. Uh, that's, I think that's the ninth foul. I think it's still one on one. It's no. Wow. It, it says ten on the board, so that that would be a two shot foul. Okay, got to make them. Got to earn them. Yeah. We talked about earlier in the uh, second half. Yep. When you're up, you got to put teams away when they try to foul you. you. Put them away by making your foul shots. Usually those come down to, come down to free throws. Well, just missed their last two. We have a five-point game with 33 seconds left. Wow, that oh, could have been. Wow, a, she missed well, them both. It's still a two-possession game, though. Yeah. Quincy's got to get it up the floor and Quincy's score right get away. A, a three ball or a two ball quickly. Aaron Barry for the layup Open to Nichols. Nichols lays yes. it up and in. And they were down three and they call another timeout. I think that that's Quincy's last timeout. 23 seconds left. You know, North doesn't have three to Three point game. Right. And then we, we talked earlier about making free throws. Absolutely. You put teams away by doing that. That was a four point turnaround. Yeah. Okay. Now you, you, you can't throw the ball away. You got to... They're only three. I mean, now they're back in the game. They hit a three. We have a tie game. Well, not to go back my, to my old alma mater, my other alma mater, but UMass had Cincinnati on the ropes. We're up 10. And they kept following the kid from South Boston, Topina, and he couldn't make a free throw, and they lost the game. Yep. I mean, conceivably, that could happen here. Uh, Flynn can run the baseline in this situation here. Looking for Bose. Bose. We got a quick right foul. That's a good quick that's foul. A good, that's a good foul. Quin uh, North Quincy is not hitting their foul shots. Yep. Two ticks off the clocks. Uh, Bows makes one. It's a two possession game again. Got to make at least one of these. Yep, absolutely. Two will give you a little more breathing room, obviously. Bobby Noble sweating bullets over there. I tell you, he's done a nice job coaching yep. this game, getting his kids back in the game. Oh, oh. nothing but net. There's a clutch free throw. It'll look easy. Yeah. She's a tough player. This is the second. Oh. And Barry it tips not, it out. And picked up Chris Kane. Kane gets it. Barry did a nice job. She couldn't corral the off a defensive rebound and she tipped it out, but Cohane came up with a big loose ball. We're down to 19 seconds left. And we're back to that two possession game again, coach, like you were saying. Bohane has two, makes the first. It's a little more difficult for Quincy to come back. They need a, a, a quick two or a three. They have no timeouts left, I don't think. No, I don't believe they do. And uh, they're, they're, they're going to have to get up the floor quickly now. Score on a quick foul. And, and uh, stop the clock Yeah, right. after they score with a score, foul. Score on a quick foul. There's a three by Devon. Yes! Oh, the she puts it Whoa! in! And it's a three-point game three point again. Three-point game, nine seconds. The clock's ticking down. They're going to have a foul. There's a foul right oh, there. Oh, no. Oh, my. This could be a... Wow. They're not going to call an intentional. Ooh. They just grabbed her. Wow. I think she called backboard. Oh, absolutely. I heard it, Coach. Yep. Here comes Coach Noble. Bringing in Goldrick. We... Wow, we have five seconds left. For Aaron Barry? That was Barry's fifth personal foul. He could use the 30 seconds there to ice the shooter a little bit. Goes back to the free throw line, makes the first one. There's the game right there. You bet. There's That's no way the that Quincy can come back. Now. There's no way they can, they can come back. Well, what, a, what a ball game, I'll tell you. just plays it smart the last five seconds and doesn't foul anybody. Five point deficit, five seconds to go on the clock. Just let it be passive down. pressure. Three, two, one. And that's the ball game. I'll tell you, what a comeback by Quincy. Tremendous comeback. Final score. At Monroe McLean Gymnasium, and some of the Quincy fans behind the bench are giving the girls a standing ovation. They deserve it. Well deserved. Well deserved. Turned out to be a fantastic game. First half was uh, kind of sloppy, but the Quincy girls never let up. They fought back. And we had ended up with a five-point game, and it was close right down till the end. Final score here from Monroe McLean Gymnasium. North Quincy girls, 54. Quincy presidents, 49. We'll be back for boys action in a minute.
I guess we're not going to wrap up the... Uh, we're going to wrap it up here uh, real quickly uh, between the boys and the girls game. Uh, it was quite a finish there, Coach, with uh, Quincy fighting back right to the last second. Well, North, North did make some free throws down the stretch, Doug, uh, down, down the stretch, and um, we talked about it. you got to stick the free throws when you have the opportunity. And they did uh, in the last 10 seconds, they did. Uh, they hit them when they needed them. Well, you want to make it exciting. We have a lot of people yeah, here. Absolutely, you know, you, yeah. You, know, you want to give them the money's worth. That's why us coaches are all bald, though, Coach. That's why we're <laughs> retired. I'm not sure I could go back and do that. Uh, Laurie Flynn came up big in the second half of North Quincy. Uh, uh, Kerry Duffy, what a game she had. Huh, absolutely, coach? yeah. She hit those jump shots, Man. kept them in the game. And then DeBono with the big three at the end. That was made it exciting. I mean, that, that, uh, just, a, just a tremendous effort by both ball clubs. Uh, again, North had an opportunity earlier in the game to put them away. Yeah. Let, them, let them back in it. Uh, and went it, back up 11, and then Quincy just scrapped back in. Yeah, and uh, I'll tell you, the Quincy girls have uh, nothing to be ashamed of. They played a great game. They really fought hard and, and fought back to make it a very exciting game. I like the way Bobby Noble used his timeouts uh, down the stretch there. Uh, yeah, he did it. Timeout. He did a and nice a quick foul. Nice coaching job there by Coach Noble. Uh, and uh, I, it's just too bad that somebody had to lose the game because it was an exciting finish. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna take uh, about five minutes before the boys come on. Uh, Doug, any final comments on this one? Hey, just an exciting game. Very exciting. Thank you very much. Uh, final score here: 54-49, North Quincy girls over Quincy. And we're we'll back uh, for boys' action very shortly. <laughs>